Let the Jews talk to him. Let the Jews talk to him. Let the Jews talk to him. Talk. Let the Jews talk to him. Let the Jews talk to him. Let the Jews talk to him. Talk. Let the Jews talk to him. Let the Jews talk to him. Let the Jews talk to him. Talk. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of your favorite podcast, Truth Talk. I am your host, Crazy Bone. What's happening with it? I'm Keith G. And check it out. You know, um, today we're going to do us do the show a little different than usual, courtesy of the coronavirus. Uh, mm-hmm. And being that we're in the middle of this, uh, this self-shelter drill, as they say, we're going to be uh-huh. doing this from home. I'm at my house. Keith G is at the house. You know, and... Um, uh, and unfortunately, this is what our lives have come to the last three, four weeks with all this craziness going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's crazy. But uh, like they say, no matter what, the show must go on. Especially for a show like this and times like these, we have to keep pushing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, right now, we're dealing with some very critical times right now. You know, very, very critical. Uh, this coronavirus has taken all of us by surprise because I have to admit, when this thing first started, bro, I had no idea that it was going to be this out of control. No idea at all. What about you? Yeah, I didn't I didn't think it was going to be, you know, something that was this long, you know, keeping people away from each other and, you know, changing the course of how we, you know, go about our day-to-day routine and our, all of our day-to-day activities, you know, as far as the kids at school and you know, people running their businesses and things of that, you know, and, and just causing a nationwide or worldwide panic, you know, with this pandemic yeah. as they name. Oh yeah, well, because this this pandemic, as they call it, has 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 definitely it's basically brought the entire world to a grinding halt, man. You know what I'm saying? Literally. Literally, you know, and it and it yeah. seems like it came to, it seemed like it just came from out of oh, nowhere, but did it really? You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you know, um, a lot of people have been asking us because they they know about our show and they know what we're talking about. So a lot of people have been asking us, what do we feel about the whole coronavirus thing? Asking if we think it's fake or if it's a hoax or if, if we think it's man-made. Um, you know, uh, and, you know, I just want to say this. I want to say, you know, honestly, I don't know what the hell it is, honestly. You know, we... we we not scientists. We don't work for the government. You know what I'm saying? And apparently, what they're saying is they don't know either. Right. Although, although it's been a few documents and articles saying that that's not true, that they really do know what's going on. In fact, it's being said that the coronavirus has even been around as long as last October and November of 2019. Yeah. You know, and... um and that our government was fully warned about this, but didn't act on it. And honestly, it's been so many conspiracy thori- stories. I've seen, I've been sent so many videos and, and things of that nature that, that leans on the conspiracy theory. But what I wanna do on this show is, I don't wanna lean on conspiracies. We lean on right. truth. We lean on truth on truth talks because you lean on conspiracy you fall down you lean on truth you stand straight up you know what right. i'm saying and now now we'll probably never know the truth bro you know we'll probably never know the truth about what actually is going on and you know people that, people that believe that the government is being truthful i must say that if you're one of those people that believe everything the government says, then you're very naive, very naive, because you know right. we've been taught at a very young age not to tr- not to trust the police or the government officials and things like that. Not not to the point to where we don't believe everything they say, but when the red flag is risen, pay attention to that red flag. Most definitely, you know they've. Uh, just just from a long outstanding of, of breaking trust and purposely doing things, you know, and then um, you know not fessing up to them, you know, telling us we didn't see what we what we actually did see from different court cases and different you know police brutality breaking trust there, governments breaking trust with you know different assassinations of our some of our top officials and people that would you know 
stand up for truth and stand up for rights. And, and like my man Crazy saying, the truth we're talking about is, if y'all unaware of that, we're talking about God's truth, not man's truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So your thing, she talk. God's truth, you know, so, um, and and like I said, you know, we don't we don't know if it's man made, if it was you know start who started it, how it started. But I, but we do know this: that people have died, people are dying as we speak. That's yeah. not fake. that's not a hoax. How is it a hoax when people are? How is it a hoax when people are actually dying? You think people got paid to catch this virus and die? I don't. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Americans, we're not too good at being suicide bombers. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um uh so I seriously doubt these people would elect to be injected with this virus to die. You know, there's a lot of conspiracy theories, documentaries floating around, like I said, that you see on YouTube and you see everywhere, but I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna lie. The features of this corona virus situation does have a lot of similarities to the agenda 2030 or 21 whatever it is with this whole population plan that they supposedly have now yeah. like i said before we're not scientists we don't work for the government besides the videos and documents that were produced i have no solid proof of this you have no solid proof of this nobody does because i'm quite sure if somebody has solid proof of this they'd be dead. That's just how it works. You know well, what I'm we saying? Don't know. So, yeah. Huh? Don't know about them being assassinated or killed already. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't tell us. So you're right. Right. And by them being gone, we still wouldn't know the truth because they gone. You know what I'm saying? All we could do is speculate, oh, why'd they kill them? They must have been telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's all we could do. So um, in this situation that we're in right now, the only thing that's important, first and foremost, first and foremost, what's more important right now is making sure that you're taking all the necessary precautions to protect you and your family right now. Right. Very, very necessary because, and it's very important that we are awake, very important that we are aware of the times that we're currently living in because these are the last days. Can't can't y'all feel? Can't y'all feel this? It's it's a very strange, eerie vibe in the air. Look at it everything is. that's taking place in the world lately. Like, we are we are there. We are definitely yeah. there in those yeah. times. Um, Revelation is Revelation is the last book in the Bible. Yep. You can deny this all you want to, like I just said but we are living in the last days of this system as we know it. Oh yeah, yeah. Evil is definitely definite concert, you know, evil is in concert with the, you know, spiritual wickedness in high places, like my man saying from Revelation, you know, let him get back to it, what he's saying, but you know, they're, they're in concert with what they're doing, these schemes and, and things that, you know, whether they blame it on this certain disease, starting with, you know, in Wuhan, China with, a bat biting a rat in a fish market to just get that kind of scheme off, you know, for us to, we're way over here, so we may believe that and buy anything, you know, just to cause that kind of thing. And just, it just so happens that, you know, depopulization is one of the things that's on agenda 21, one of the agendas. So, you know, to be able to er erase a lot of people without just lining them up and, <clears throat> and shooting them where people would just, you know, go crazy about it, but to do it diabolically like this, you know, with man-made and man-manufactured diseases, you know, this is a part of what they want to have the world down from, you know, close to 8 billion people walking around to have it down to 1 billion people to 500 yeah. million. This is a part of some of the, some of the things, you know? And if you listen, and if you listen to the projections that they're making on the news, they're saying by the time this is over, you know, it could be millions of people could lose their lives from this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like they're projecting things. Like, how do you know this? You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, yeah. So they two bird, two or three birds to them with one stone. You know, and 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 to to the people that have lost family members from this manufactured disease or however you want to call it. You know, uh, much condolences to y'all from Truth Talk. You know, we're not lightly treading this. You know, saying it. You know, like Crazy said, it's it's like it's not real. It is real. People are losing their lives. 
you know, do take precautions, wash your hands and stuff like that. But, you know, we have remedies here on Truth Talk where we trust in God and hopefully we can illustrate that and show y'all how to do that as we keep talking. Exactly. So I want to break down what revelation actually means because I think people have an ex uh, 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 a distorted uh, revelation and Armageddon and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, so revelation is actually the English translation to the Greek to the Greek word ap apocalypse. You know, and um, a lot of people today when they think of the word Apocalypse, they think that it means some nuclear disaster that's caused by man, but yeah. that's not what it means. Revelation is more than just a message. Revelation is more than just a message of doom that's been exaggerated by men over the years. You know, yeah. when, when they talk about Armageddon, they always talk about, oh, it's going to be a, some catastrophic nuclear thing that's caused by man. Yeah. That's, that's misinformation. Armageddon has nothing to do with men. Well, it has something to do with all the wicked men that's ruling the world. It has something to do with them losing their lives and losing their position. So it does have something to do with them, but it's not a war that me or you have to be worried about fighting when it happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes I hear people say that when they read, when they read, uh, after they read Revelations, I hear people say that that was the most scariest book in the Bible. You know, <laughs> and, it, and it can be if you don't have the proper understanding, but it's actual, it's actually an uncovering of what God plans to do in the near future, in the, in, in the very near future. Word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, Greek word, the Greek word apocalypse means unveiling or uncovering. It means exposing or revealing something. So the last book of the Bible is rightly titled a revelation because at the end, God is like saving it for the end to uncover all the evil and everything that has been going on yeah. in, this, in, in this world. But it's this, it, it will be far different Revelation. Now, 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 in the Bible, Armageddon is described as the world, the world, the great day of God, the Almighty, and it's yeah. far, it's it's going to be far different from a nuclear holocaust, like we said. Um, uh, right about that. Yeah, yeah, and in fact, in um, Revelations, I'm gonna read the scripture from Revelations 16, 14, and 16. It says, "They are in fact expressions." inspired by demons and they perform signs and they go out to the kings of the entire inhabited earth to gather them together to the war of the great day of God Almighty. Now, we talked to y'all before. Oh, oh, oh and, and verse 16 says, and they gathered them together to the place that is called, in Hebrew, Armageddon. It's really called Armageddon, but it's called Armageddon. So, yep. <coughs> We talked about this several times when these idiots that we know as world rulers, I don't care if it's Donald Trump or if it's um, Vladimir Putin or whoever's running the world at this time that these things happen, they're going to actually think they have enough firepower to go up against God himself. Yeah. They think they're going to have what it takes to go up against Jesus and his yeah. army and God, which is a very big mistake. And they're going to meet in Gog of the land of Magog. Yep. This is where all the, you might have heard me mention this in my songs a few times, Gog of Magog, Gog of Magog. This yep. is where this battle was to go down. This is where this battle was to take place, where these world rulers think they've established themselves enough that they can actually defeat God. Physically. Yeah. Physically. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but they're crazy. Yeah. And, they really are and crazy. Battle actually is a and it's written battle, but you know, as far as it's it's actually uh a, more of a, a match between a child and a and a professional grown wrestler, you know, pretty much the right. outcome I was I'm saying. You know, uh you know back on the little rascals? 
<laughs> when they used to get in the fights and do be holding the dude's head and you're swinging like <laughs> exactly you know big me? brothers you know <laughs> bro yes. that's exactly what it's gonna be like bro you ain't gonna be they ain't gonna be hitting nothing they're gonna be getting nothing. hit and nothing and what and what i just explained sounds nothing like a nuclear holocaust you know what i'm saying if you think about it it's a lot of things in this world that has been and and is now being revealed to us remember we're living in rele we're living in revelation uncovering we're, yeah. we're currently living in in a world that a lot of things has been or is now being revealed to us or uncovered remember it was a time years ago when almost everybody trusted religion or almost everybody had some kind of trust in government almost everybody not everybody i don't think I think black people always been a little suspicious of the government. But uh, yeah. um, if you look at it now, that's really not the case. People lost faith in churches because of all the corruption, the scandals that surround the preachers and the pastors, you know what I'm saying? They have been, some of them have revealed, have been revealed to be frauds, misinforming their followers. Just like some of these government officials, you know, when they lie to us every time it's time to, for them to be elected. You know, they'll tell you, I'll do this, I'll do this if I'm elected president. And then when they're elected, you see that they don't do what they say they were gonna do or that they don't have the power to do what they wanted to do. So right. they're also revealed to some people to be frauds. And that's and that's no conspiracy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. And um it does, it does happen, you know, when 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 power gets into the hands of man, and that's something that people you can't blame God for by because of a man doesn't use and do what God properly says to do with, with the power. All through the times, it's been people that has misrepresented what God has started, you know, of taxpayers taxing too much or people that are supposed to represent the church and treating the people cruel. God even talks to his different people about that and actually chastises them in different scriptures of the Bible about doing those things. And we still have people that do that to this day. But that doesn't mean that you don't believe in God because what one man has done or a few men have done, you know, they're going to get their punishment after do your part in believing in what God say, you know, real talk. And um, speaking about <clears throat> speaking about the conspiracies, bro, um, we talked about it, you know. Um, one thing I want to explain to people about our show. And the whole agenda, um, the whole agenda twenty one thing is although we've we've talked about it on two episodes, you know, we brought this issue up twice on two different episodes, and um, you know, uh, I just want people to know we're not those dudes that go around chasing conspiracies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We talked about it on our show because I believe. I believe it to be some truths about what's going on with the government and their plots and schemes against certain races of people or certain certain classes of individuals. So I certainly don't rule it out. But but like I said, I also don't have any solid proof that I can just bust up in the room like caught y'all niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And even if I did have the solid proof, it's not like I'm gonna go rally up a bunch of people to start protesting and to overthrow the government. That's not our job. Yeah. Like I said, that battle of Armageddon is not our battle. God is going to handle that. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But one thing like, I do, one thing we do have solid proof for him is God and what he said he's going to do to fix all of this. Because yeah. God has, I'm a, and everybody listen to me because this is the truth because God has never lied and he never. is incapable of lying. He's the creator of all things. He doesn't, he doesn't have to lie. He has rights to everything, even us. So why would he lie? Right. Why would he lie? That I'm not a man that I should lie. That's right, bro. Exactly, he's not a man, so he don't, he's not us. You know what I'm saying? He, he's not us, you know what I'm saying? So, so, um, He is what he is. God's real name is Jehovah. If you know what Jehovah means, Jehovah means he causes to become. 
He can cause whatever he wants to happen, happen. That's what Jehovah means. He causes to become. I am, exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So there's no need for him to tell us. It'll be a waste of his time telling us something that's not true. And, you know, it's the total opposite, you know, him being who he is and done what he's done for us um, now, in the past, and in the future. You know, he's actually the one that shouldn't be under microscope. You know, it's funny how the enemy, you know, is here. And, you know, a lot of people are under the delusion of his power and the things that he is saying and, and gobbling that up like that's the truth. When it's your father is trying to tell you something, but you go out there and believe one of your, uh, you know, a person that ain't even your friend. And you believe taking their word verbatim versus somebody that really cares about you and actually made a plan so that you can see him again in peace, you know? Bro, and we talk about this all the time. You know, um, people be so quick to listen to a palm reader. They go so quick to go sit down with a psychic. Yeah. You know, they can tell you about your future. People so quick to believe what Nostradamus say or any other lunatic that claimed he predicted in the future. Yeah. But they never want to listen to the actual source that it comes from. It's like, I don't understand how you don't want Levi, you'd rather prefer Gucci. Yeah. You, uh, you don't want, uh, you don't want Polo, you'd rather prefer, you, 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 you'd rather prefer uh, Louis Vuitton. So why settle for anything else than the best when it comes to your spiritual well-being? Perfectly said. Why settle for anything less than the best when it comes to you being led spiritually in the right way? You know, I yeah. felt it was I felt it was important to talk about those those conspiracy theories when we did simply to inform people that they should be watching out and alert whether it's real or fake. We should always be keeping on alert and on the watch, just like God told us. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people running around, oh, this is fake, and not taking heed to it, not even knowing, you know, this could usher in another one of God's prophecies. This could usher in the great tribulation that nobody knows about. You know what I'm saying? And when that time comes, when the great tribulation approaches, it's going to be too late for a lot of people to change your ways. Because that's basically when the door is going to be closed. And if you're not, and if you're not written in that book of life, it's pretty much a wrap for you. And Once yo, this great just, tribulation begins. To piggyback on what you're talking about, like you're talking about, you know, and, and a lot of people never even heard of the Lamb's Book of Life because look at all the distractions we got. We got so yep. many things. Right now, we worried about we worry more about our health staying alive on this earth than we are worried about our salvation and who we gonna spend it with. Nobody even takes that kind of time. We buying up jugs of water and buying all this toilet paper, and you know, trying to hope that man can give us a vaccine. Look, it's almost like we got our hope and faith in man to hey, please help us get this vaccine, as if we worship in them. When God is exactly. the one who. And that's who we got to keep our mind through throughout all of these times that go on like this. But this world, it has its way and it's setting up their own kingdom. You know, the beast, the false prophet and the antichrist, they will appear on this earth, this same earth that we live on right now. And all these things, now I don't, we could say proof because people that have different books that say something different and that's okay. But my belief is all of this is being paved away for his pattern, for his uh kingdom that he's thinking about building here on this earth and sitting in the seat of God. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where his ultimate goal is to be, to be like God and to be God is what he want to be. So he got people under a false delusion about where their protection is and where, where their financial gain and goal is going to be and their, their eternal living. You know, so a lot of people are under that. And it, unfortunately, it's some of the people that's in these high places that are making these laws and different things like that. So, you know, you gotta yeah. choose your own. Yeah, bro, real talk. And, and um, and just let people know we didn't we didn't talk about these things to scare people to make them feel like you know you had to go join a militia or to go against the government either. You know what I'm saying? That that's not what we're trying to provoke or incite. We're 
We're simply trying to inform you that everything that we're seeing take place is happening for a reason. Yeah. It's not just happening because it just so happens to be happening. There's a reason to all of these things that are in motion. There's a biblical reason. Again, that reason is called prophecy. Yep. Prophecy, you know what I'm saying? And um, during this time of this crisis, you know, I've really learned a lot more of what I already knew about the government. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot more of what I already knew. So it just really, well, I wouldn't say I learned a lot more. It just really confirmed what I already knew. There you go. You know, it was confirmed to me. By going through this whole ordeal, it was confirmed to me that once again, God was right. Yes, his record is, his record continues to be infinity and zero, no losses at all. No. no losses. Look how this whole coronavirus ordeal has been handled. Here, we supposed to be the greatest nation in the world, let the politicians tell it. Right. But every single day on the news, when we're looking at the news, we see the doctors and the hospitals that are not having enough equipment. They've been asking, they've been begging to get this equipment ever since this whole thing jumped up. And now, they're out scrambling, trying to still figure out how to get these supplies to the first responders. Now, this is coming from the country that you hear all the presidents boast about being the greatest. Greatest in the world we're supposed to be. Yeah. But as far as uh, receiving everything that we need to take care of the citizens in this great country, they're right. failing. They're failing horribly. And I understand this is something they weren't expecting. I understand that. But I'm saying this to say, don't be so bold as to jump up and say, this country is so great. Because God will determine that. You think you're so, right. just like they didn't think, just like they did back in the days in ancient times, they didn't think their kingdom would be torn down after Jesus told them this whole thing is going to be brought down in one day. Yeah. They said, what? It took us years to build this. There's no way in hell it's going to come down in one day. Yeah. Who was proved wrong? Bottom line. Never Straight try up, to man. go against God. Ever. And even with what would you saying on that too, Cray? You know, uh, with them not being prepared and not knowing, it's kind of funny. And it's not funny, but just a word of it like that, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, they had uh, applications in different, in November 15th, you know, of 2019. They had out job applications for these very positions for something that they so-called wouldn't know about would be happening that's going on in 2020. Because this, this pandemic or whichever way was brought to us around, what was that? Uh, yeah. Uh, in February, early yeah. March, mid-March. Yeah, or definitely. Something. Yeah, like, like in the February, definitely, definitely. To have job applications for a position that doesn't exist that's that's that that's different to my <clears throat> mind state. I don't understand <clears throat> previously know that something is going to be happening and you're withholding information. You know, just yeah. like they why they do that's what leads us to always question and believe, of course, these things are man made. I can see if uh something develops where there's a, a you know, because there are things that make people sick on this earth that if you do the wrong things, this and that, you 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 stay in the rain too long, your hair is wet, you're gonna catch a cold. I understand yeah. that kind of not trying to yeah. say everything, uh, blame it on blame it on conspiracy. But when you manufacture something and you blaming things like AIDS on green monkeys, or you blaming things on mosquitoes and stuff that's biting some West Nile diseases and yeah. bird flu. Or the coronavirus, niggas eating bats. Exactly, man, ain't nobody ate no bat. So a bat bit a rat and you got that on tape in a fish N -n nigga, e nigga, exactly. How do you, how do you know? Did you record it, nigga? These niggas crazy, bro. Long as <laughs> bats been on earth, so a bat, you telling me a bat never bit a rat in a fish market before and this never happened? Or this is something that you're doing to cover it up? You know, it's, it's hey, when they showed yeah. me that, back to that John F. Kennedy tape, when they showed me, when they tried to tell the rest of the country it was one shot that took that president out, and then years later they always say, and like I've said before, there was three shots. 
So where's the other culprits? You know, so sir, they'll let things out as time goes by and figure that nobody's um, interested in it anymore, nothing like that. I mean, we'll, say, sooner or later, we'll probably see videotape of the Biggie and Tupac shooting. You know what I'm saying? Because the this is just a side note. FBI was following them all through that week. Why would they stop following them that night? So, you know, certainly they got things that they're going to withhold from us. I can see people holding, if you're a child and it's a household, and it's things that the parents are keeping from the child that they don't need to know at a certain time because of their protection. That's one thing. But to, to be manufacturing different things and tell us one, something else, that's murder. What you're doing right now is murder. This wasn't just brought up on people. This was, this was made and manufactured so that people would be losing their lives so they can keep this um, you know, depopulization going on. Exactly. Exactly, bro. So, um... So they've been talking about helping American citizens financially because, you know, with this whole coronavirus crippling the economy, millions of people have lost their jobs. They're, you know, people are worried about how they're going to feed their families, if they're going to be evicted from their, from their houses. Um, I know in some states people are being threatened and are still being threatened with eviction. You know, so, so they're saying that we could possibly go into another recession. And as much as the government said they want to help people, I have a funny feeling that that help is not gonna make it down to the citizens that actually need it, that, that, that really, really need to help. Most likely, it's going to go to the big corporations, which I've already heard, it, it's, a lot of it's going there. And then for the ones, you know, they, they're, they're gonna look out for the ones that don't really necessarily need it to save their businesses. But, you know, uh, what about the people that, don't have business that, that need their money or their job to actually survive day to day. Mom and pop stores. What about the rest of the people? Like, you know, and we always talk about this, bro, that, you know, the, the system is not broken. The system was created this way. You know what I'm saying? It was meant to be unfair. It was meant to, to keep, to be one-sided, to keep certain people out of the limelight or out of the, or out of the, um, the pool of, you know, uh, from you know, the, it, 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 was, it was just meant to keep some people just down all the time. Yeah. You know, that's and, how uh, you support people, people down when you do them like that. You know, yeah. it worked in, they figure it worked in Egypt when they just had a hierarchy and slaves. That's it. Wasn't no middle ground. Yeah. The system, um, the, the, those words that was written on the, written down in the Constitution, those words were all lies. Because although God may have intended for, meant for all men to be created as, um, equal and be treated as equals, they had no intentions on treating everybody as equal. They never nah. have, never have. When they wrote God, when they wrote in God, we trust on the money, it was written as a facade because it's not God that they trust, it's the money nah. that they trust. People yep. don't, you know what I'm saying? And people don't have to listen to us, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because I have to believe, because believe me, time, will reveal everything. Time will reveal everything. And people can stay in denial until that day happens. You know what I'm saying? But you, you can bet your bottom dollar that it will happen without doubt. And, and one thing about what he's saying too, see, we ain't selling nothing. We ain't saying uh, join what we talking about, this and that kind of thing. You know, we, we trying to uh, get people shaking for their money or nothing like that. That ain't what this is. Yeah. This information right that God put on our hearts to share with y'all. And we're trying to do the, the best we can to do our studying, have the Lord's Spirit talk through us as we trying to talk to y'all. You know, so that's that's the only purpose for this whole show, Truth Talk, anyway. This has nothing to do with, you know, sitting up here like we some scholars or we just found some sort of uh, smart dudes or something like that. Nah, this ain't what that is. Not, not exactly. Now, as far as people go, what, I, what this situation that we're in has showed me as far as the people go is that some people are beginning to open their eyes. More people are calling on God. I've, I've never seen so many prayer memes or calling out to God online ever. You right. know what I'm saying? It's, um, but it's also showing me how some people are going to lose their lives because they don't listen. Like I said, whether this virus was man-made or not, people are dying. This yeah. disease is still contagious. 
If you think it's not that contagious, you take your ass on outside and let somebody that's infected cough on you, and you be the crash dummy for us, and let us know if you get sick or not. But stay down right. the street when you're telling me, because I don't want to be next to you, nigga, for real. Real yeah. talk, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, um, uh, in these times, you have to believe, man, you have to be, you you have to take everything serious. People say the same thing about God, you know what I'm saying, that he's not real, that, uh, the Bible was written by man. Now I fully now now I I fully understand God when He says that the majority of the people on Earth is going to lose their lives in Armageddon because they don't believe it to be real. They're going to do the same thing with this whole with God, like a lot of people was doing with this virus, and not standing in the house. Oh, it's fake, man. They made this up. It, it ain't real. Even if it is, like like I said, even if it's not, it's a plan by them. Yeah. And when they plot like this, it's dangerous. Yeah, man. Very, very dangerous. What's one These thing th God said? He said, my people perish for lack of knowledge, you know? And, and a lot of, one thing God said, he don't take no pleasure in, no, in losing none of them. This is the whole reason he sent his son here to die for us and go back and, and resurrect with him for that we can have a chance to live eternal life with him. He, he, don't, he ain't just happy to destroy us. We his creation. But unfortunately, uh, those that don't listen, like my man saying, I mean, it's going it's, 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 it's to be a terrible time. These days, they think everything is fake news. They think everything is a hoax. And they're going to lose their lives because they don't believe. In these times, you have, to, you have to believe in something. You have to believe in something. Why not put that person, put that belief in our creator? Because you got to think about it. Has God ever lied to us? Never. Has man ever lied to us? Always. It's Every big, time. Big difference, you know what I'm saying? So we need to stop believing any and everything the government tells you, you know, without doing your own research. Learn about the coronavirus, do some research on it, and you you may be surprised. I hope when this I I hope when this whole ordeal is over. You know, uh, people will start thinking for themselves, you know, that people will start paying more attention to biblical things, like the deep things in life. Because every day is not a party. Every day is not a turn up. There are some serious, like it says in the Bible, there's this time to run about and play and be happy. There's a time to be serious. Yeah. Time for godly things. There's a time for everything. You have yeah. to clean Hey, that's funny you're saying that. I wrote that same thing down. That's Ecclesiastics, man. I won't right, say that exactly. same thing. How we know the Lord is always doing something with it, man. Exactly. Come on, man. Yeah, bro. And, and you know, we got to unplug from this matrix and walk into the real life because that matrix is not going to be around here much longer. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, Psalms 37.10, it says, just a little while longer and the wicked will be no more. Just man. a little you know what I'm saying? And think about think about everything we're witnessing in our time. And think about what Jesus told his apostles when they asked him, what what will the signs of the last days be? And how will we they asked Jesus this and he gave them a specific answer. And I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna break it down to y'all. If y'all want to read it, you can go to Matthew 24, 3 through 8. We'll start off there. It says in answer, Jesus said to them, look out that nobody misleads you, for many will come, to, come on the basis of my name, saying, I am the Christ, and, and will mislead many. You are going to hear wars and reports of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for these things right. must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be food shortages and earthquakes in one place after another. All these things are a beginning of pains of distress. Then people will hand you over to tribulation and will kill you, and you will be hated by all the nations on account of my name. Now, right. I'm gonna break what, what I just read down real quick, first and foremost. It says, People will hand you over to tribulation and will kill you, and you will be hated by all the nations on account of my name. 
if you notice in these days and times, anytime you talk about God or you bring something up, you know, or you take God's standpoint on something that the world views to be okay, you're always right. the one hating. You're always the one. You're the uh, you're the party pooper. You're the homophobe. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy just because you're God, you're you're God fearing. You have to be a homophobe. Why can't you just be God fearing? And right. I refuse to do what God tells me not to do. Now, don't get it twisted. That don't just mean shunning uh, homosexuality. You got to shun everything. Right. You can't just point right. that out. You know, oh, no. Oh, uh, you, uh, you can't just point out homosexuality and then go sleep with 20 women right after you point it out. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's something we all have to work on. We cannot right. look at one thing. But why is it that you're looked at like that? Well, it's just explained to us. It's just explained to us. People will hand you over to tribulation and will kill you. And you will be treated and you will be hated by all the nations on account of his name. So when you say, well, I don't condone that because God and Jesus told me not to, they're going to hate you. But right. you should not be sad about it. You should, actually it says you should rejoice. Yep. Because these things right here is showing you that God and Jesus is actually active and alive. Yeah. Every time, yeah. every time you see something done to you that Jesus told you what's going to happen, or every time we see something take place in the world that God told us, that should be proof right there that God does exist. It really All is right. happening. He ain't left us. He ain't went nowhere. His prophecy is still burning. It's still going on. You know what I'm saying? It's still going on. And so one thing he said, he, leave us. he said he never leave us or forsake us. So you're right. And he did say, you know, count it joy when you persecuted for my name's sake. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, man. Real talk. And uh, something else I want to break down in there when it says, when he gave some of the features, it said, <clears throat> see that you are not alarmed. Now, we can go through this whole list and see. It says, uh, you are going to hear of wars and reports of wars. We hear that all the time. It's been war after war after war. So that's true. Check that out. True. See that you're not alarmed. These things must take place, but it is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. How long have we been seeing this? This is the whole yeah. reason we see other countries at conflicts with other countries. Look at North Korea and South Korea. They're the same people, bro. They simply split their whole thing up by putting North and south in the front of it. But you're, all, it. But you're all Koreans. You're all Koreans. You know what I'm saying? So, but these people have been at battle with each other. America has been battling other nations forever. We have, uh, these things have been taking place. There will be food shortages. We see that all, as people starving, even in America. You ain't, you ain't even gotta go to another country to see people starving. Go right nah. down. Go right downtown in California or downtown anywhere. All the homeless people out there that's hungry. Food Straight up. Earthquakes in one place after another. Check that off. It was just one here the other night. Just one in the other country the other night. One after another. All these, it's, all these things are a beginning of pains of distress. They are happening. Check that whole paragraph off. You can't deny it. It's happening. Right. Move to the next scripture. 1 Timothy 3, 1 through 5. It says, but know this, that in the last days, critical times, hard to deal with, will be here. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, haughty, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, disloyal, having no natural mm. affection, not open to any agreement, slanderers, without self-control, Fierce, without love of good, goodness, betrayers, headstrong, puffed up with pride, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having an appearance of godliness but proven false to his power, and from these turn away. Now, breaking down this scripture, 
That honestly, that whole script just sound like niggas in hip hop. <laughs> no lie. That's, that's right lie. now. No lie. You know what I'm saying? If we go through and break down all these things, levers of money. Check it off. We see that today. Boastful. Niggas, we see that today. Hardy. All these things are taking place. Bro. They cannot be denied. Doesn't this sound like the majority of what people on earth are doing today? It sounds just like what they do. We spoke, yeah. we just spoke about how God said the majority of people are going to lose their lives. This is what the majority of the earth is doing right now today. They have these traits. You don't hear too many people talking about God. God told nah. us. He told us it wasn't going to be that many people. There's going to be a lot. It's going to be a big number that follows him. But the number will be greater of people that don't follow him that's going to lose their lives. So I'm telling y'all, if God is telling y'all that the number is going to be big, we should be trying not to be in that big number. Fired up. We really should be concentrating on not trying to be in this big number, on that wide and spacious road. We should Yo, not be on that road. Just like you're saying, too, it's happened before in the Great Flood. Then people was drinking, having fun. I'm not, not saying nothing wrong right. with drinking. Don't get me wrong. They was having a great time about their merry way getting married, doing this, doing that, having a great party. But the day that that flood came and the day Noah closed those doors onto that ship, you know what I'm saying? Into that ark, that was a whole nother situation. The whole place got wiped out because nobody exactly. wanted to listen. And we doing the same thing. By his father, you know what I'm saying? And that's what, and that's what we are today because a lot of men are influenced by who they call their father, which is Satan. And they want to go by his doctrine and because to them they think that this is fun now i say you know different things are what people get into that ain't righteous some of those things seem like it's fun but it's only fun for a period of time and those are the things that i want our young people and you know older people to come away from because those ain't the things that uphold how we live you know what i'm saying that's why we keep getting into these things our father god is always crying out to us hey trying to send us signs, trying to send us prophets, trying to send us messages and different things like that. You know, even just crying out to us and we ain't taking no heed. He ain't just finna be crying out to us all day long. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a day where that stops and his wrath just shows, shows up. And right. that's just, that's, that's inevitable going to happen. Two talks. And I don't see how people can't look at what's, what was written for our guidance and for our survival and compare it with impair what was written to what's going on. It's very simple. It's not hard to do. To compare what was written in a and, and the reason they don't do it because a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people don't read the Bible. You know, out of all those examples, need we need to give more? Just seeing that alone, we should not need to explain anything else. People People can say what they want about me and, you know, whatever they say about us and our show, you know what I'm saying? But Because I, I haven't seen yeah. all kind of comments, you know, people people talking about, you know, how's this dude, you know, suppo uh, you know how we supposed to believe this rapper, you know, but this nigga used to rap about this and rap about that, and you know what I'm saying? But you know what? None of that, none of that ever bothered me because I know what the scriptures say, and I am in no way perfect, and I'm not you know, um, I'm in no way perfect in any That's way. Right. And, and I'm not so confident that I'll be saved or that I'll be found uh, in good favor in God's eyes. But I do know that I am not a fool. And even if I don't make it, I still will believe that God's word was the truth. Even if I didn't make it, I would just be, dang, I should have paid attention. That's my loss. But I'm not going to say, and oh, you know it's fake. It's fake because I ain't make it. No, no. Hey, hey I messed the up. Humbility, the, hum the humbility that you're saying right there, and I'm, I'm, I'm only going as far as to say the only reason that you are going to make it because you already know that Christ Jesus is just like you're telling people is the Son of God, and that is what He said. Hang your hat on. If He said, if you believe in that, you have the Father already, and you've said that plenty of times on this show and before we've even talked. So, but I hear what you're saying. And if it wasn't true, it does not make it not true. I exactly. understand what you are because saying. Like, 
there is there 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 is nothing else on this planet that makes more sense that makes more sense than God's word. And I'm just gonna put it on the table now. There ain't nothing out there that makes more sense than that. Nothing. And people say, oh, Craig, don't tell me you done been brainwashed too. And I say, absolutely not. I have washed my brain of all the propaganda that they want us to believe. I really, and then, and then I really trip off people that, that try to tell me that I shouldn't, that you shouldn't believe in God or God is not real. But if you notice, they can never give you anything else better to put in the place of God, ever. They just want you to take yeah. their word and just float about, just blow with the wind like them. Nigga, hell no. You know what nah. I'm saying? Excuse my language, but no, 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 no. And sometimes I sit back and I think about how miserable, because I've been, I've been approached by atheists, you know, coming out my little you know, my little uh, Bible meanings and stuff like that. And um, I sit back and I think about how miserable they must be. Because if you, I say this all the time, because if you, if, if you were content with the decision and not believing in God, because this is what you truly believe, you truly believe this, then you wouldn't push so hard against people that do believe. Because you're content with your belief. So if you're content about this, you don't need you don't need any co-signers. You don't need nobody to back you up because this is what you truly feel and you're confident, correct? Do you do 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 um do you ever wonder why you see some atheist that's very very upset and angry at people that believe in God and they are coming at them crazy? You want to know what it is? That's because they're miserable. They, yeah, they're miserable that you won't join them in their stupidity because misery loves company. Bottom line, they want somebody with them so they can feel like, okay, if I'm going down, you're going down too, just for that reason alone. When it should be like, yeah. no, nah, bro, look, look here, I believe in God, you know what I'm saying? So, again, people. We're not here to toss any conspiracy theories around because that's not what we focus on. We focus on the truth. That's why our show is called Truth Talks and not Conspiracy Talks because we're concerned. We're not concerned with conspiracy theories. I look for facts. I look for the truth because we all deserve to have the truth in this world. That's what God wants us to have. We all deserve to have the truth because he knows we will not survive without the truth. And Craig, right. you know, Craig, even like the coldest part is, and it's already is written too. You know, uh, Satan itself and demons know who God is. They know who Christ is. You know, yep. the thing that they want to do is not let you know who He is, so that you live your life and not confess that His Son is who He is and stuff like that. That that is His Father. They want you yeah. to miss that whole, so that you be in demise just like them. That's just the whole, that's the whole point, And that's the whole scheme and the premise of exactly what he's doing. So they know that God is real. Satan, he done been there when he was called Lucifer. He done, he done walked around in heaven before. He been in the presence of God. He been in the presence of the word, which the word was Christ before he took a body and came here. So he knows mm -hmm. that that's all true. But he's trying to do, get you in the same position of, of, of not enjoying your eternity with him just like him. So he's causing mm -hmm. all these different things and saying the white man wrote this book and you know how could this and bring trying to bring up anything just kind of like a one of those attorneys that's trying mm -hmm. to discredit every offense is saying that's all that he's doing whether it's true or not he's just try, trying to bring up objection objection just so it's something mm -hmm. that just get your mind off of that so you don't have no faith and no foundation you know if god was sitting in the middle of the sky we'd all believe in him but he credits us on having faith and faith we we can't see him so that's what he accredited us on. Blessed those who believe without seeing. That's what he said to us. So, you know, we take time to try and do this and try and let you guys know this. I already know for those that's with us, thank you. For those that ain't with us, I'm going to not hate you. I'm going to pray for you that hopefully you get this, get this kind of mind state. And when you start seeing people dis, <clears throat> don't let them tell you the UFOs then came here and picked people up. I want you to say, hey, man, this is, I guess this is that kind of stuff that, our grandmama's been telling us, or oh, this is stuff, stuff that Keith G and Crazy was trying to tell us on that little show. 
you know? Yeah. We ain't got to talk about who's popular or who's doing what in these news. There's plenty of, there's enough of those kind of shows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right here, we concerned about your eternity, man. So that's why we are doing this, G. Real speak. And you know, uh, just to say to all the truth seekers, all our truth seekers, in this crisis that we're going through right now, uh, the hu human government is showing us firsthand that they don't have all the answers. Firsthand, they do not have all the answers. But in the scriptures, God tells us he has the answers to everything. He has all the answers. He has everything. He knows what's going to make us happy and what's going to kill us. He yep. knows this. So most of us have seen, most of us have seen what man has to offer. But a lot of you don't even know what God is offering you right now because you're not studying on him. You're not reading what he gave you to read to let you know what he expects from us and what he's offering you. It's a, it's a very good deal. You're missing out. Very good really? deal. Very good deal. He promised us everlasting life if we listen to him. Not yep. man. If we listen to him. Why not give God a try? If you still don't believe, cool. But 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 I know for a fact that some people sit up and say the Bible was written by man and you ain't even read the Bible for yourself to even determine that. You're going off hearsay. I say this all the time as well. Don't let somebody else lose your life. You will be sorry. Don't let somebody else lose your life. Seriously. So with that being said, our, our next show, because this is something we've been talking about for a while, and I'm, you know, um, I'm so tired of hearing people say every time we mention the Bible that the Bible is written by a man or somebody else is written by a man. So what we're going to do for our next show very next issue we're going to talk about was the bible written by men or is it truly from god and i definitely right. hope a lot of you tune in that i've seen leaving those little comments about you not believing in the bible because i'll be ready to stand firm for the scriptures and any proof you have bring it and let's see if it stands up against what god has to offer and i'm guaranteeing you I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now because I'm that bold. Nothing you bring is going to stand up against his word. Nothing you bring. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, with that being said, we will keep coming to you broadcasting like this until we are in better times, if we ever go back to normal, better times. Right. You know, um, until then, everybody, please be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. You know, um, treat this as something that's real. People are dying. Death is not fake. And um, a lot of good people have died from this fake or not. Man-made or not. People have lost their lives. Yeah. So take your, if you take anything else serious, even if you don't take this coronavirus seriously, you think it's a joke, at least take your life serious. Take right. your life and the people around you lives serious. You know what I'm saying? Don't be an idiot. Don't be an asshole. And um, right. make, sure you just, make sure you subscribe to Truth Talks and also follow us on Instagram at Truth Talks 99. And also we will be going live on Truth Talks 99 Instagram page to answer any questions y'all may have about past shows that we've done this is your chance yep. to come and ask us questions and we can um get those questions answered but until then y'all be safe out there and remember the truth is always talking just gotta shut up and listen shut up and listen let the truth talk to him. let the truth talk to him. let the truth talk to him. talk let the truth talk to him. let the truth talk to him. let the truth talk to him. talk let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Talk.